Is, is it too bright for you, the, the lights? Or? No, that's no, all right. Yeah, no, it's all right. Fun. Glad Rap Channel, you're with Jeff Horn's trainer, Glenn Rushton. Uh, just tell the people where we are right now, just to soak it in, you know? Where we are, you know, we're a few days out from the fight, obviously. We're starting to get closer. We've got two more training sessions on. Everything's ticking along really well. We've settled in. We're over the jet lag. We're focused, um, just freshening up very nicely. And we're just getting more excited about Saturday night. Terence Crawford, a worthy opponent. You know, he's fought Ricky Burns, Eucharist uh, Gamboa. He's a tough, tough opponent. How do you, how do you rate him? I rate him very highly. I mean, he's a great boxer, and anyone who didn't rate him highly, I think, would be delusional. You know, he's a brilliant boxer. We take nothing away from him, so we respect him as a boxer. He's ranked as the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, I think, by uh, the Boxing Writers Association of America. He's always normally in the top three. So, yeah, he's, he's up there. He's, he's uh, brilliant, and we're really looking forward to the challenge. How do you rate Jeff Horn's confidence going into this fight? I mean, he's beaten Manny Pacquiao, he's defended his title, Yuri's at the MGM. Is he confident? He's the bigger fighter, the stronger fighter? How do you see his confidence? Yeah, he's confident. He's very confident. You know, we've done our homework, we know what we're up against, we've prepared for that fight. As he showed against Manny Pacquiao, he, he's got great belief, he's got incredible uh, tenacity, and he will rise to the occasion. Jeff always rises. Not all fighters can do that. But a lot of fighters, when they're faced with the greatest challenge, they either go two ways. They either rise to the occasion or they crumble. Okay, Jeff always rises to the occasion. So he did that against many Pacquiao. And we've been down in the trenches over 12 rounds with a legend of the sport and emerged victorious. So Crawford doesn't present any uh, greater hurdle to us mentally. We go, Crawford hasn't been down in the trenches with someone of the calibre of many Pacquiao, we but have. It, but in saying that, do you view this as a tougher fighter than Pacquiao? In some ways it is, in some ways it isn't. Where it's tougher is that we're now fighting a man in his prime, 30 years of age, whereas many Pacquiao was getting toward the end of his career. However, if you look back at many Pacquiao's previous fight <laughs> against Jesse Vargas, people would think, well, he hasn't slipped much. He still beat the uh, current world champion by a big margin. Yeah. But of course, you're always old when you lose. You're never old when you win. No one said Mayweather was old. Uh, when he was 40 and he beat Conor McGregor because he won you know mm -hmm. you're only old when you lose remember so uh, yeah I think people just don't realize how good Jeff Horn is and that rather than say you know many just fought a great fighter they just say many's old so I think yeah Crawford does present uh, a challenge in regard to just sheer silky boxing skills he's fast he's slick he's got all the skills so he's a different fighter Whereas many, you know, many Pacquiao's a street fighter. He's an alley cat. You know, he's a tough, tough guy. Uh, Crawford's just got those slick boxing skills that we've got to overcome. So it's a different fight, but it'll be equally as entertaining. You know, when you were fighting Pacquiao, you had this ten-point system. Are you able to disclose that at all, or is that always gonna? Is that a secret? No, I've disclosed some elements of it, but yeah, I've never actually released. I've never released the full components of that 10-point plan, but it was a matter of the particular things that we had to execute consistently throughout that fight and remain disciplined to, to win that fight. And it'll be the same with Crawford, and therefore some of the elements, of course, uh, will apply to Crawford as well, but there's some other elements with Crawford, of course, because he's a different fighter. It's a 12-point plan with Terence Crawford. It was only a 7-point plan with Corcoran. It was a simpler opponent, yeah, yeah. less skills. Um, we followed that, we got the result. When I pushed the button with Jeff, he finished the fight. So. With Crawford, it's a complex plan, but he's a complex fighter. But are these simple points like easy to remember, or are they sort of each of them are equally important, or the first three more important than the rest? Or yes, is they are a little bit logarithmic, you know, and okay. for, certainly the first few points are more critical than the other points. But there's particular points, uh, as I say, that we just must get right, and then others that will certainly help. So it's complex, but it's something that I've programmed into Jeff throughout the whole campaign, so he now understands it, and it's just programmed now. It's not as though he really has to remember it. It's been programmed in him week after week now, so that when he gets out there, I've just got to say little key words, and, and it just triggers him, oh yeah, that's that point, that's that point. So yeah, it's not as complex for him to remember, He's programmed. So, you know, Jeff has really upset the whole Apple shed, you know, in a way it's changed the narrative of top rank. I mean, I mean, I know your objective was to get the best fight, but I don't think people envision him going this way. Like maybe he's, you know, I mean, nobody expected him to beat Pacquiao. Um, 
do you see that as like he's changed the game? Yeah, I think so. Like we, we come out here in the boxing world to try to reinvigorate boxing, yeah. to bring it back. We said this is the entertainment business. Let's entertain. You know, we see a lot of these very defensive fighters that are out there and they won't put their egos on the line. They're just playing it really safe, but they forget that it's the entertainment business. So, you know, we want to we want to entertain. We want to bring boxing back as a mainstream sport. We want it on the front page. We want it on the back page. We want it. We want heroes out here. So, you know, we're, we're, it's a big vision here, and we're working hard to achieve that. And I think Jeff shows in the way he carries himself also that boxers are not thugs. They're just great athletes in the most physically demanding sport in the world, and it's exciting. So. We're starting to achieve great things in Australia and hopefully we can continue that around the world. You know, when he beat Pacquiao, he probably was the best fighter in Australia. If he beats Terence Crawford, what does that mean? I mean, if it's and still, if you hear those words, what does that mean? Is he one of the greatest fighters in the world ever? I think so. You know, if he beats the best pound for pound fighter on the planet, what does that make him? So, yeah, you know, I think it's... It just goes to show what this bullied school kid can do, you know, with hope and belief and, and commitment and passion. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting. I think it sends a wonderful message out to the world, this great message of hope and, uh, you know, just resilience. So, yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a wonderful moment in sport, not only in Australia, but globally. Thank you, Glenn. Thanks for your time and wishing you all the best out there. Thank you. It's been great covering you. Thank Thanks you. very much. Thank Thanks. you.